the uh, Spitfire, and uh, I usually don't really do uh, Monday updates because Monday updates is usually me building the uh, fine scale uh, Scarlet Viper. But anyway, uh, for the Viper, which I built almost exclusively on Monday, is I basically got it all wired. I uh, got the cockpit mostly painted. It's just two basic colors: one for the seat, one for the uh, cockpit tub. I got to add the the uh, decal into the uh, targeting computer there. I'm um, probably a little bit of tulip, do a little bit of dry brushing, and then I'll just dry brush the uh, little panels in there for the little control panels. And that's pretty much it because you're not going to see much once you get the pilot in and uh, once you turn the uh, green LED on. Now I don't never go uh, too uh, elaborate with all the you know uh, cockpit detail because you really can't see it, and especially when you just turn on the green. It, it uh, shadows it out, so that's pretty much it on that. Uh, I just got to take some more uh, pictures, and uh, hopefully uh, I want to get the uh, pilot in so I can get the uh, canopy on, get it primered up, because I got it taped off mast and all that good stuff. I did get the pilot uh, somewhat painted. I basically got her... Um, uh, tan parts uh, painted and it's just one little coat I'm probably gonna go in one more time and then I'll paint her next I'll paint her jacket <coughs> her boots whatever black I need to and then uh, uh, basically do a uh, wash and some dry brushing and then face and the helmet but anyway we'll jump that uh, soon when we get there uh, the Spitfire I uh, did get the canopy uh, mast and I uh, basically just need to primer it uh, probably need the tulip around the uh, edges of the uh, canopy here and then uh, ready to appreciate and paint. I was hoping I'd get to do that uh, this, this evening, but uh, probably not. It'll probably be uh, either uh, later on the week before I can uh, start uh, appreciating it. But anyway, I did get that done, so I wanted to show that before I really get too in-depth. Uh, that's why I'm doing the Monday video. Uh, the rat. I got the uh, third camo on, which is uh, I don't whatever Mig had over here. Uh, rat brown or something. Anyway, it's not too bad. Uh, but I did went in and uh, uh, put it on. It actually uh, turned out pretty slick. And I'm about to tear up the photo etch on here. That's just, uh, every time you want to grab it, you just want to grab the uh, where the photo etch is and just bend it all to death there. But anyway, it looks uh, pretty darn slick with the uh, tricolor. Uh, basically wanted to show that before I uh, wanted to get uh, too far because I got to, I'm, next I'm going to paint the uh, track, which is probably going to, it's basically like a two or three part step. I'm basically going to paint them a, a light brown and then uh, put a bunch of washes and then some pigments on there. And then I'll go in with the uh, airbrush and do some uh, post shading. And then I'll do pigments on the uh, and washes on the road wheels. And then do uh, basically uh, pigment, I want to say dusting just to make it simple up here around the side skirts and everything. And then uh, I'll do some uh, washes and it's just uh, little things to bring out the, uh, you know, highlights in some of the areas, you know, especially around the uh, rivets and all that good stuff. But anyway, that's uh, where I stand. It looks pretty darn slick. Turn the light off too. It's a, uh, it's a whole other new uh, pattern. I uh, did that same way with the uh, mini mouse, and I just kind of, I just basically chose a little. With the airbrush, just did a little pattern there. And then I took the uh, tan that I did for the uh, uh, pier and uh, painted the uh, mini mouse, the second one. And then I'm going to, uh, I'll probably do a little, uh, I don't know, I either do the brown one or I'll do like the uh, green camo one there, uh, which whatever one uh, floats my boat. Probably the green one, if not, I'll, and I can't, I'll probably do it with the airbrush, but I haven't decided if I just want to do it with a regular paintbrush and just do a little ziggy zigzag design, or uh, do a uh, probably I'll probably do the airbrush one because I like the more of the faded uh, look. But anyway, we'll jump that bridge when we get there uh, because we got to let things dry, let the paint dry. Always good to let it basically dry for a day, and 
and we can continue on the uh, cutting crad now uh, all I got done was the uh, fan today and uh, you know little by little we will get the uh, motor done so that was accomplished today and tomorrow I'll do uh, probably I've been breaking it down like right here uh, and I'll do like that section and I'll do the next section and uh, before you know it by the weekend we'll have the uh, motor all assembled uh, this is what I wanted to update before I go any really truly truly farther the uh, Roadrunner I did get the uh, side mirrors on and I went in and uh, tried to mix the paint to get the uh, body color which I am really really close and it is uh, it's basically a match of the car but I can't get the metallic color so uh, what I did let me get Mr. Phone here uh, gosh darn it let's see uh, mail nope uh, there we go uh, paintscratch.com they actually had uh, and I had to do some phone calling uh, they had the uh, paint uh, uh, basically in stock. They basically mix it. It's basically a car uh, paint place. The 71 uh, Chrysler uh, uh, Sherwood, dark Sherwood green, is actually uh, impossible to find. But they uh, they said they could make it. So uh, I bought a uh, can so we can uh, paint it. Uh, it should uh, work out just fine. Uh, it should have the metallic look to it. Uh, so that'll be probably here in about a week so we can uh, start painting that but I didn't want to you know I didn't want to uh, keep everyone hanging saying you know Whoa, my car ain't painted uh, but it's a uh, it's hard to find basically this color uh, for the 71 Chrysler's because uh, if you find the paint today like at uh, AutoZone or anything it's actually a uh, uh, you know they have like Fords, they have Toyotas, uh, you know, but it's just a different shade of green and not this green. It's just uh, crazy. But anyway, I got it coming from uh, PaintScratch.com, so we'll uh, uh, we'll uh, see what it looks like once we get it in. And uh, basically, with the uh, uh, acrylic uh, coat, it's uh, ready to basically be painted. So I can put the enamel paint on there, which. Uh, uh, won't be a problem and we'll uh, get it on. I did get the uh, alternator on uh, The engine went to the uh, shed and I actually remembered to go get one and uh, I got it super glued on uh, the interior I started to paint the uh, Olive green uh, on the back here. Maybe you can see the uh, floorboard where it's a little uh, It's a real light green. That was the original paint. I put uh, another uh, coat of uh, more of an olive green on top of it uh, just a little bit more to go and uh, hopefully most of the time you're probably not going to see most of it and I didn't want to try to airbrush too much in there so uh, you know I didn't want to overspray and then I got to paint the, uh, the silver accents off so we'll uh, we'll get there probably this week if we can, can but anyway I wanted to tell everyone that the paint uh, was coming for this and that was doing a lot and a lot of uh, googling and calling and everything but I should be able to get the paint for this car uh, the decal car uh, basically I went back in and uh, I'm almost done and as I went and trimmed the uh, sides here you know trimming the uh, edges and I'm actually going in with the uh, micro saw doing a little brush work and uh, cleaning up any uh, uh, where I've cut just to uh, get it to blend in smoothly I'll probably have to touch up little uh, places on there with some paint which is no big deal uh, basically I'm down to painting uh, the little uh, oval thing that goes right there and a little bit of the silver on the side uh, right through here we got to paint it black that's a little strip and then uh, I started to paint uh, this part but I gotta go back in I gotta go get me uh, pointier brush and then I got to do a little more trim work on here and uh, just a little more uh, just a little couple little things and then uh, I'll do one more video of it just to show everything and then I'm gonna 
shoot of a future and then it's going to sit for about two to three days so uh, that's uh, what I've got going on so far I wanted to show everyone that and because uh, that was uh, you know I hate to uh, skip a step when I do videos because sometimes I'm it's just like doing the Viper you got to uh, build a little bit take a picture and then uh, move on after that but anyway that's what I've got going on today uh, decal car getting really really close uh, putting parts on the uh, Roadrunner, but we're gonna wait for the uh, uh, car, uh, the uh, color to come in. Uh, cut and crowd motor duty. We've got the uh, Spitfire ready to go, and the camo is done on the rat. Anyway, that's what I've got going on today. So stay tuned for the next exciting episode.